What's good, y'all? It's Solution, back at it with another mental gym video in which I give you guys mental exercises you can use to become extremely successful and accomplish all the goals that you are after. So let's get right into it. So today I want to talk about independence, or the mental exercise I have for you guys today is independence. And independence in the context of achieving your goals, the way I define it is doing what needs to be done to achieve your goals despite what others think. And I actually want to dive further or dive deeper or further into context here. So essentially what I mean, guys, is I mean in the context of your caretaker or like your parents, because a lot of you guys who watch my channel are probably either between 18 or 25 and I'm actually 22 right now. So I'm in this phase too, where you're in the phase of deciding what you want to do for the rest of your life or your career or the career path, whatever it is that you want to take in whatever direction, right? You're in the phase of deciding what that is. So what comes with that is going to be hard conversations, right? Because essentially you're in the period where you're going to be independent. You're going to outgrow your caretakers or the people who have taken care of you, whether it be your parents, your grandma, your aunt, whoever you live with or has had a large stake in your development up to you being 18 years old, right? So with this decision will come the hard conversations because your caretakers will probably have some kind of expectations on what they want you to do with your life. But you will have your own personal expectations on what you wanna do with your life. And naturally, clashes come from that because you've probably seen many times from other people's situations, right? Where you tell your parents, hey, I actually kinda of wanna do this thing, that cool? And they're like, oh, hell no, you should do this, blah, blah, blah. Are you crazy? You're gonna dishonor the family? Whatever kind of situation, you you guys probably get the point from that. But essentially, guys, you have to grab your balls and be like, nope, this is what I want to do in my life. And you guys can either support me or not support me. When you go into these hard conversations that I believe you should go into, and I'll give reasons for why, but when you go into these hard conversations, it needs to be you asking for support, not permission and that is pretty much the frame or the mental exercise for today it's asking for asking for support you're asking for support right this is what you're asking for what you're not asking for is not pre-mission you're not asking for permission guys Hopefully I spell permission right. Y'all can clown me in the comments if you want to. But essentially, you are not asking for permission. You are asking for support. So essentially what I mean by this, guys, is you're, you should have this hard conversation with whoever your caregiver is because essentially you guys want the same things. Your caregiver wants you to be successful or achieve your goals. And you want to be successful and achieve your goals. But you guys both have different ways in which you want to see that outcome occur. Because unfortunately, guys, no one can choose for you what you should want to do. You are the one who gets to choose. No one can tell you what you should and shouldn't do because you are you. So you know what's best for you. Right. So what that means is you can never ask for permission in doing what you want to achieve, whatever goals you are after. You can't go to your parents and be like, hey, based on my own life experiences and what I like and what I don't like, this is what I want to do in my life. Is that okay? You can't do that because you're the one with all the information. They are not right. So they can't just be like, Nope, I don't want you to do this. Cause I want you to do this. Unfortunately, guys, people want the version of you that best serves them. Not the, ver not the best version of you that serves you. Everyone has their own opinions on what you should and shouldn't do. But at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to suffer the consequences of the actions that you decide to take, right? So you have every right and every authority to make decisions on what you are going to do. This is why you are asking for support. You are having this hard conversation to ask for support, right? And I'm saying this because I've literally been through this just recently, because like I said, I'm 22 now, so I'm literally in this phase right now. But over about a year ago or so, right? So for me, I was in college and I was pretty much in my last semester. Like I was literally about to get going into my last semester. And I was like, you know what, bruh? Fuck college, bruh. The college has nothing to do with the goals that I am trying to achieve. And it does not help me get closer to where I want to go. Making it essentially pointless for me to be here anymore, right? And essentially to me, I wasted time, but it doesn't matter because 
I learned lessons or whatever. But anyway, that's besides the point. Point is, I was like, mm -mm, I'm done with college. Obviously, my parents had invested a lot in me being able to go to college. And I'm very grateful and thankful for that because they wanted me to succeed. Like I said, your caregiver and you both want the same thing in the end, which is your success, right? Cool. So they wanted me to succeed and I appreciate that. But the method in which I want to succeed is different from theirs because I didn't want to go to college anymore. They wanted me to get a degree. And I was like, no. So what did that lead to? Hard conversation. I had to be like, hey, parents, you know, I know you guys want the best for me. I know you guys want me to do this, this and that. Get here, study this, whatever. But unfortunately, that's not the path I want to go down. That's not what I'm passionate about. That's not where I believe my purpose lies in terms of my goals and my success. I believe it lies over here, right? More in the entrepreneurship route and more in the mindset route, more in growing route, right? Which is essentially what I'm doing now and what has led to all these videos that you guys are seeing on my channel right now, right? Essentially, that's what has led to this, right? Because this is really what I want to do. This is what I believe where my purpose lies. This is where I believe or what I believe I will do that will make me successful, right? In the ways that I want, obviously. And while we did not agree, I was not asking them for permission. I was telling them, this is what I want to do. Are you willing to support me or not? Because I know you want me to be successful and I want me to be successful too. We just have different ways in doing that. But essentially, we are going to end up in the same place if you just let me do it the way I want to do it, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to make this decision because I know me best and I need to do what is best for me in order to be independent, right? I have to do what needs to be done to achieve my goals despite what you think because it's the only way I'll be able to achieve them because you guys cannot tell me what I should and shouldn't want. Only I can know what I want because I am me. We are independent. We are free, guys. So in that sense, they were like, you know what? While I might not completely agree with the method and believe you should do it whichever way, I am willing to support you. And I really appreciated that, right? And now, with everything I'm doing now, my parents are more than willing to support me. And the reason why I believe having these hard conversations is so important, guys, is because you give your caregivers an opportunity. I know you guys have your all your own different circumstances and relationships with people who are your caregivers. All of you guys I know have different circumstances, right? But essentially, you should do what you want in the end, right? That's what needs to end up happening because I want you guys to achieve the goals you want to achieve. You cannot achieve other people's goals. If someone tells you to do something this way, you're achieving somebody else's goal, not yours, right? Because as I said earlier, people want the version of you that serves them best, not you best, right? And I want you guys chasing and achieving goals that are defined by you. So at the end of the day, do what you, needs to be done. You have to do what needs to be done or you will not achieve your goals. Zero likelihood. You have to do what needs to be done, right? If your parents are like, let's have a death battle fight to the death to determine if you're going to get to do what you want to do, that's just what needs to happen. I'm obviously giving an exaggeration of an example here, but the point I'm trying to make to you guys here is that you have to understand you're going to have to do what needs to be done in the end. But the reason why the hard conversation is so useful is because you give the caregiver an opportunity to make a choice. Because as I said here, you are not asking for permission. You are not coming here. You're not talking to them. You're not presenting what you want to do with your life, whatever career path that is, in asking, hey, can I do this? I know you guys want me to be a lawyer, but I want to be a doctor. Is that okay? I know you guys want me to be an engineer, but I actually want to be a YouTuber. Is that okay? I know you guys want me to go to med school, but I actually want to be a professional athlete. Is that okay? That's not what you're doing. You're saying, hey, I'm going to do this work to be a professional athlete. Are you willing to help me? Hey, I'm going to do this work to become a, a YouTuber. Are you willing to help me? Right? And the list goes on with whatever path of goal achievement you guys are on, guys. You have to set that frame because then it's more, hey, I'm giving you guys this choice. What will you guys decide to do? And more often than not, as I've already mentioned earlier, your parents want you to succeed at the end of the day. And you guys are here and you guys watch my channel because you want to succeed. So you and your parents want the same thing in the end. You, they just want it to look a different way. But at least in this sense, your parents are going to be like, you know what? This is what he wants to do. And this, no. Nope. This is what he's going to do. Are we going to help him or not? Because he's going to do what he needs to do regardless, right? Whole point of this frame. You're going to do what needs to be done. It's the only way you can win. You're going to do what needs to be done anyway, despite what they say. But give them a chance. 
because you would be surprised. Because even for me, when I had to have this hard conversation with my parents just recently, right, I had all these thoughts going through my head like, oh, they're going to say no. Oh, they're going to get mad. Oh, they're going to kick me out the house, whatever it is, right? All these crazy thoughts. But at the end of the day, I had to grab my balls and be like, you know what? I got to give them a chance. I have to give them the opportunity to support me because I'm telling you guys doing the whole ignoring your parents, running away from them, shunning them or lying to them in the long run. It really doesn't serve you guys because you take away the opportunity your parents could have had to actually help you. And they'd be more reluctant to help you if you went behind their backs, lied to them or did whatever. And I just don't think that'd be the ideal position to put yourself in. And I'm not saying you can't succeed that way. Do not get me wrong. But I want to give you guys advice that gives you more opportunities and more chances to achieve your goals faster and sooner. And I don't think you just hiding everything you desire, everything you want and doing behind your parents back is going to help you guys get there faster. It actually probably will end up halting your progress because now your parents will want to get in your way because you lied to them or whatever. And I don't want you guys to put yourself in that position. And also, last with that, last important thing, the more hard conversations you have, the better you get at having hard conversations. And I'm telling you guys right now, a lot of the success that you guys want is on the other end of many hard conversations you need to have, whether that in all the relationships you have across your entire life. The more hard conversations you are willing to have, the better outcomes you will get. And this is a great way to start and a great time to practice at a young age. Between 18 and 25, great time to start having hard conversations. Because that means the life you live much later will be set clear and nice for you in terms of your success. Because you have been more than willing to talk to people and let them know what your true desires are and why you want the things that you want and making the tough calls. So yeah, going over it one last time. Independence is doing what needs to be done to achieve your goals despite what anyone else thinks right? And essentially, I mean this in the context of your caregivers, because you guys are going to need to have these conversations with your caregivers. Once again, the choice is up to you. If you want to do it, you can do it the other way, ignore them and just do what you need to do. I just re recommend having the hard conversations for the reasons that I stated earlier. But essentially, when you're entering this conversation with your caregivers or the other people who have had a stake in your growth and development, you are not asking for permission to do what needs to be done. You are not asking for permission to do what you want to do to achieve the goals that you want. This is not a negotiation. This is, hey, this is what I'm going to do. This is going to happen with or without you. Are you willing to support me? Because I really, really would appreciate it. You put the ball in their court now and it's up to them to make the decision because you're already going to start moving the direction you need to move into. And obviously you'd be more than willing or I would hope you guys would be more than willing to accept support because not <laughs> there's a lot of people out there who don't care about your success and don't want you to see succeed, frankly, that don't want you to win. And your parents could be or your caregivers could be the, that, that person who is actually willing to support you. And that support could make the difference in the speed at which you were able to accomplish whatever goals and success that you are after. So, yeah, guys, that is pretty much my independence mental exercise. I really hope this made sense. Please give me feedback on this. Or you're like, OK, cool. Yeah, this was really simple. To be honest, because I know maybe this will only apply to some of you guys, not all of you guys. And maybe you guys are just doing whatever you need to do. You're already on the ball. But I still know there's some of my guys out there who are younger like me, 22s, between 18 and 25, who is in this period where you need to be having these hard conversations. I'm telling you, it's really great to have them. Ask for support. You're not asking for permission. So just let me know. Was this simple enough to understand? Or you're like, yeah, cool. When I have this hard conversation, I'm going to come with the frame that, hey, I'm asking for support. I'm not asking for permission because at the end of the day, I have to do what I want because I'm the only one who knows what I want. Nobody else can define it for me because if somebody else defines it for me, I'm actually chasing the goals and success they want, meaning I'm not living true to myself, meaning in the end, I probably will not be fulfilled. So please give me feedback. Say, yep, this was great or thumbs down. Be like, this was horrible. Let it let me know down in the comments. Be like. You could have done this. You could have explained this. You could have used, added this example. You could have brought a cat or a dog in and showed it. Whatever the fuck you need to say, drop it down in the comments because it all helps. All the feedback helps me become a better YouTuber and make better mental exercises that better serve you guys so you can accomplish the goals that you are after. And if you liked it, please, please, please like the video. Boost this in algorithm so more guys can see this and make sure they're becoming more independent, doing what needs to be done, despite what other people think, especially their caregivers or the people who have had a stake in their development, because it's not that these people don't care about you. They can't know what serves you best or what will 
align most with your purpose. Only you knew that you, only you know that. So you have to make the decision and you just have to ask them for support if they want to support you. If they don't want to support you, it doesn't matter because you're going to do what needs to be done. And I guess, guys, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next mental gym video. Peace.